All right, our family, welcome back to another video. It's been a couple weeks and uh, I miss doing this, so we're only doing it every two weeks. We're gonna make another amazing drawing today, you guys. And the cool thing about this channel is you guys get to see something drawn on this channel that you don't see anywhere else on YouTube. We always draw original creative art and it gives you guys ideas for your drawings and inspires you to be able to draw at home. Today, we're gonna be drawing something really cool, but first we do our hidden object game. This is the theme of what we're gonna draw. Can you guys find the ball of string? Take a look. I don't think it will take you long to find it. In this scene, can you find a ball of string? I'm gonna point at it and that's what we're gonna be drawing today. Right there, this ball of string. We're gonna make a painting of nine different colored balls of string on nine pages of paper. So you guys, that's what it's gonna look like, the painting today. As you guys know, I already sort my colors so that they're ready to go for the drawing today. We have our candle lit, we had our cats up here. We're gonna draw some something beautiful on this one. And that's what I like to talk about with you guys is uh, just drawing your own original creative art. It doesn't always have to look like something that's real. That's what we do on this channel. So let's start off with our like bubble gum colored marker. And I don't know about you guys, but man, I used to love it when I was a kid. You could buy a pack of bubble gum for like 25 cents. You blow these huge bubbles we got a lot of fun doing that. Get your uh, relaxing drink ready. Mine has a shark on it. These guys are going to town on their treat. That's some salmon that I had. Oh, we start in the middle. We're sticking with that theme again, you guys. It's kind of like the Spirograph theme to make this giant uh, picture of uh, these, uh, thre these uh, you know, just like a pom-pom almost. They're gonna look like pom-poms. So anyway, we're starting in the middle and we just kind of lightly swirl out. We're starting with a bubble gum colored marker. Well, if you guys can see that kind of focus, I'm gonna move the candle off to the side a little bit. We're gonna just kind of focus your, your uh, view down in here. And we're gonna start off just swirling around. And we're gonna make multicolored pom-poms. We're gonna put together a giant painting of pom-poms on nine pages of paper today. Thank you guys for being a part of this art family and being a part of this art channel. It keeps growing. I can't believe how many views and um, subscribers that we're getting recently. I really appreciate you guys being here. Next, we switch to a um, hot magenta. And you get these colors out of the Big 40 box. So if you guys want to draw along with me every week, get this uh, Crayola Big 40 box. Um, and as always, our videos are all unscripted. And this is all from the heart. I got these guys up here. They're having a, a treat today. So we go to our hot magenta. We start with a lighter pink and then a hot magenta color. This is gonna be kind of a light drawing because my um, I'm, about due, I'm about due for a new pack of these. These markers are getting worn out a little bit. So, But I thought I'd just, we're gonna do two drawings of this. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like. You guys do this at home, you can spin it. You end up with this beautiful like, I don't even know, it's just a pom-pom, but kind of like a flower. That's what it looks like so far. But we're gonna add one more color. We're gonna add this uh, person. Uh, I think this is, um, I don't have my glasses. I think it's persimmon or something like that. But anyway, here we go. We're gonna put these on here. Our last color, and then we'll have the first pom-pom done. And I'm gonna show you guys another one. Just spinning your paper, that's what's, you have to have one of these drawing boards like this so you can continue to spin your paper and you're layering colors. We Like you guys, you usually start with the light colors first and then you work your way into the darker colors to make these beautiful pom-pom um, spins, okay? All right, so we got our first one done. And when you guys, when we get the second one done, we're gonna put this together in a big, in a big beautiful painting on the floor so you guys can see something really cool. Our first one kind of looks like that. Just they always look different. You guys just practice spinning the paper and swirling out. That's what we do most of our drawings on this channel is always spinning the paper, swirling out. We're gonna do a different one here. I'm gonna, let me grab another piece of paper. I hope you guys are all doing great. It's the weekend. I always put my videos out on Sunday mornings. So you guys remember that on Sunday mornings, that's when we put a video out. So we did the lighter colored pom-pom first. We're gonna do the next one. I think it's gonna be a little bit, it'll be cool. So we're gonna do a little darker one with purple, green, and blue. Leo, Leo already got down. He's had enough salmon, but it looks like Eli's really enjoying his salmon today. So we'll let him have, enjoy his treat. Um, yeah, there's something to be able to make 
that's what's amazing about this channel is you guys can see something that you don't see anywhere else usually in YouTube videos. It's just, you get to see original creative art being made. And that's, that's what a lot of the artwork in um, galleries and museums and stuff is always usually something that you've never seen before. And um, that's what makes this channel pretty cool. I mean, you guys usually see me spinning the paper and drawing differently. I have a theme to my channel. It's mainly spinning paper and uh, like, um, it kind of looks like a spirograph drawing, but I'm only doing it, I only do it by hand. So, so we got our blue on there. It's just gonna be a short video today, but you know, the thing about our videos, you guys, is that there's a rewarding, satisfying feeling because when we finish this drawing, you're gonna get to see this put together in one big painting on nine pages of paper on the floor. So that's what makes this channel really special is that we don't just sit down and draw a drawing together. We put together this giant painting together. So it has a surprise ending. So stick stick through it. You guys found the pom-pom. That's a theme of our drawing today. And when you guys see this, you'll see all the pom-poms. There's gonna be nine colored pom-poms here. We'll go out from blue. We're gonna just spin out some purple now. I think you guys are gonna really like this. It looks really cool. I'm glad Eli decided to stay up on the table with me today for a second longer than Leo, his brother. I don't know if you guys saw that last video, but there was a bat in our house. Um, you guys want to go back and watch that last video that we made. I told a story about a bat got in our house. I had to, we had to get it out and the cats helped me get the bat out of the house. You guys want to listen to that. I can't tell it again because it still scares me. Anyway, look how beautiful this is just with blue and purple already, you guys. And we're going to put the green on now. Just remember that blue, purple, and green, you can't go wrong. You could even add black. Blue, purple, green, and black, okay? Well, I gotta tell you guys, we have some really amazing upcoming uh, pieces of art. I think you guys are really gonna love some of the, the next. You guys can see what I'm doing down here. I'm gonna try to, I think you guys are really gonna love the next few art projects that we have. They're gonna be really creative and beautiful drawings more a lot of the spirograph theme types of stuff maybe some tie-dye drawing i'm interested in trying to draw tie-dye by hand so you guys back in the 60s and 70s they made these shirts they would wrap them together with string and then they dip them in different colored dyes i, I can learning how to do that with just drawing with markers you can tie-dye with markers so we're going to do a video on that i was born in 1970 so i remember those days man we had these crazy pants that went, hung down over our ankles and feet, and we had hair that looked like bowl cuts. Like you could, they put a bowl on your head and they just cut straight around it. It was crazy. 70s had some wild style, man. If you guys look up some 1970s videos on YouTube, you'll see some, some stuff. That's what I grew up in. It was crazy. It was a crazy time, let me tell you. Anyway, so we just finished uh, our next uh, pom pom. So we have our first pom-pom that we drew, kind of a light pink one. And then we have the blue and purple and green pom-pom. You guys, we're gonna put these, we're gonna put these two, or actually there's nine, I have a bunch more drawings off to the side. We're gonna put nine drawings together and make an awesome painting so you guys can see it on the floor and then we'll come back here and talk for a second, all right? I hope you guys enjoy this. All right, our family, here's that beautiful marker drawing that we just finished together at the table. Let's put this last piece in place and see how it looks. I think you guys are gonna be amazed at how beautiful this one is. Let's check it out. Yeah, I thank you guys for being here and drawing along. Let's put this last piece in place and see how it looks. Wow, you guys, that sure is beautiful. Well, you guys ought to try this at home. Just move, spin the paper and turn your marker on the side and this is what you can do. All right, wasn't that amazing, you guys? All we did was sit and spin the paper and we drew these awesome, beautiful pom-pom, like balls of thread and yarn. And we made a painting drawing balls of thread and yarn. Who would think that you could do something like that? But hey, if you start to think about things, get inspired by things around you and say, maybe I can make a drawing of that. So go around, look around your house, find some everyday objects and see if you can make something. My cat's playing with a Q-tip on the floor. They love to play with Q-tips. I'll have to show you that one of these days. But anyway, you guys, thanks for being here. And as always, I hope this art inspires you. And uh, get your art supplies out and draw yourself something beautiful today. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks and we're gonna draw something amazing. We got some amazing art projects coming up. 
And uh, I just love you guys being here. Thanks for all your love and support. Love and peace to you guys, my friends.